Well, tonight we bring you more of the results of the MTN News and Montana State University post-election poll. The results are based on about 1,400 responses from people who answered a poll earlier last fall from MTN and MSU and who likely voted in last November's election. In the second of a three-part series, MTN Chief Political Reporter Mike Dennison and MSU Political Scientist David Parker look at the polling results on two big initiatives rejected by the voters. Initiative 185 would have extended Medicaid expansion, which provides government-funded health care to 95,000 low-income adults and raised tobacco taxes to help pay for it. It failed, with 53% of Montana voters against it. Our poll showed an identical partisan split on I-185, with 79% of Democrats for it, 79% of Republicans against it, and independents 50-50 on the measure. Women slightly favored I-185 by 53-47%, to while men strongly opposed it, 61-39%. to The poll also showed I-185 failing among all age groups, except those ages 30-39 to who favored the measure by a 55-45% to margin. So did this just come down to a partisan thing on this initiative race? With all the money that was being spent largely by the tobacco companies on the 185 race, essentially the, the two sides polarized. What happened is Democrats moved to the yes column. And why? Because it became about health care and Medicaid. And Republicans and independents overwhelmingly moved to the no column, again, largely, I think, because of the issue of taxes. So in that sense, this race became polarized, and yes, about party issues, and people fell exactly where they expected, which is why the initiative lost. Next, we'll take a look at the results for I-186. I-186 would have imposed new water treatment regulations on new hard rock mines. It went down with 56% of voters against it. Again, the partisan breakdown was remarkably similar, according to our poll. 77% of Democrats supported the measure, 78% of Republicans voted no. But it failed among independents, with 54% opposed. Women were split 50-50 on I-186, and men came out strongly against it, by another 61-39% to margin. Those with four-year or advanced college degrees, however, supported I-186, by respective amounts of 58% and 64%. 60% of voters with a high school diploma opposed it, and 87% of those with less than a high school education did as well. So this time around, is it just the same story as the previous initiative? Slightly different. If you actually look at our pre-poll, Democrats were pretty much firmly uh, in favor of this initiative, and that didn't change pre-post. What did happen in this case is those undecided voters overwhelmingly broke on the no position. And actually, that's what we would normally would expect. That's the status quo position. And so what happened is Republicans then you know, overwhelmingly moved to no, and those undecided independents overwhelmingly moved to no as a result of the initiative. And I think to some extent, the money was largely dominated by the mining industry, and I think you know they were successful in what they were trying to do, which was to stop this. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow in our final segment, we'll look at the results on approval ratings for our elected officials and where Montana voters stand on some key issues. I'm Mike Dennison with David Parker reporting for MTN News in Bozeman. You can see the full poll results on our website.